Hello guys. Happy Thursday. Thursday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I wish it was Thursday, honestly. Um, I just wanted to hop on tonight. Uh, hopefully this video is not too long because we are going to be first sniffs with me for the Bring Back My Bar summer 2021 or June 2021. Uh, bring back my bar winners so i think for the fall if you remember when i did my first sniffs and we walked through them back then i think there was only 20. for this time around it, there's 25 so there's quite um quite a bit of them to choose from and they will go on sale starting on june 1st and they'll be around till the end of june uh, while supplies last and you're able to also add them to your um, Scentsy Club if you have a Scentsy Club. Now, if you're new to Scentsy and you have no idea what Scentsy Club is, it is an amazing perk that you can always get your bar. So, for example, if there's one particular scent out there that you particularly like and you care for and they discontinue, they will, if you're the only one in the world that uh, likes, for example, Jack's Obsession, which is a fall scent, they will continue to make that scent just for you as long as it remains in your club. And you can do either a monthly subscription, a um, bi-monthly subscription, or uh, quarterly, which is every three months, which I do the quarterly, and you can pick and choose what you want to add. You only pay for what's in there, and then obviously there's perks. You can get a discount. I think there's 10% uh, off for the first 30 you spend. So if you want to do whiff box, things of that nature. So if you want more details about what Sensi Club is, definitely let me know. But uh, let me dive in because it's probably gonna be a really long video and a really long night. So let's just uh, get into it. But uh, as you hop on, say hi, but uh, let's just dive in. So if you get a, a bunch of bars, um, you get now that it's getting into the warmer months um they ship it in a contained uh, insulated bag with a uh, cooling bag now by the time it gets to me i've noticed that it's already been melted but the bars actually remain pretty much protected so this is all 25 and let me tell you it smells like a mixture of um fruity coffee and it smells like fruity pebbles and coffee because there's a mixture there's so many fruits scents or fruity scents in this bring back my bar round as well as i think there's a cop there's coffee tree in there and i think that might be the only one that might be the only one but um this is the list of all 25 so we'll walk through them if there's any one in particular that you just love uh, please let me know because some of these bars I won't even warm and I'm going to put in my summer sale. So if you saw me post this morning about my summer sale, please, please, please let me know when would work for you uh, early in the day or later in the evening to do just like this uh, a live interaction sale. Uh, please note that during the live sale, um, I will be sharing some of my collection that I have a brand new that I've never used at discounted prices. So be sure to take advantage of that summer sale that Saturday, June 5th, and let me know, like I said, what time works for you. Hey, Jess. Um, but without further ado, let's dive in. First, let me show you, hold on, without knocking stuff off my desk. It's just tons and tons of bars. So, um, there's no particular order, so I will try to go in some particular order. Um, but like I said, a lot of these, because I'm not really a fruit kind of fan when it comes to the fruit category, a lot of these are fruit. But I figured, let me just go in and dive into it since I wanted 15 of the 25, so it only made sense from a cost perspective to uh, to take advantage of that. So let's, um, let me see. I don't think I'm going to be able to go in order of this list. So I'm just going to grab and go. But the first one is sweet pea and vanilla. Ooh, that smells good. You definitely, um, on cold, you get the sweet pea. It's not bad. 
And then on the bottom notes, as you can see, they sweat a little bit with the warm, but uh, this one is sweet pea and vanilla. And I like how they changed the packaging. For fall, it was like bring back my bar was in a huge, bold, like, casing. I like being able to see the design because their packaging is really pretty cool. So this is sweet pea and vanilla, and it's uh, ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals and vanilla. And this one's not too bad. Um, they said, for those who are new to sensory and don't know older, like, who've never really smelt this one before or warmed it, um, they said that sweet pea... Uh, where is it? I can find it. Sweet pea and vanilla is like cloudberry dreams. Now, I've never warmed cloudberry dreams, but I don't really agree with this. This is more of, um, like, if you ever smelt the sweet pea from, um, uh, what's the place? Bath and Body Works. The sweet pea body wash that's what this smells like so if you like sweet pea and vanilla this one's definitely one like it's kind of a mixture of a floral slash um definitely like that one that one i might not give away the next one that is on the list is white tea and cactus that's not bad I'll show you the packaging is so cute um and white tea and cactus is a clean crisp and refreshing floral mix with green notes. It's definitely, you definitely get a lot of the floral. They say this one is like aloe water and cucumber. Yeah, I get a little bit of that. If you like the aloe water and cucumber bar, that's, um, that's close. So this one is white tea and cactus. Uh, next up is oodles of orange. Now, <laughs> Um, I personally am not like I said a fruit fan or a fruit of citrus a fan of citrus um, This one is just straight orange So if you like the smell of opening a fresh orange and peeling it and and breaking into it This is definitely one for you oodles of orange says it smells like sun-kissed citrus Yeah, I get that Woo. That's pretty strong So it's just straight orange. So that's oodles of orange and again, if you're watching, I mean, right now I'm live, but if you watch it on playback and there's any particular scents that you love and you want, just let me know and um, I'll be sure to keep it aside to, uh, to do for the, to the sale. This is Spring Forward, and I'll read you what the description is. If Sunshine had a scent, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedar wood. So you definitely get cedar wood. You definitely get a little bit of the bergamot in it. Uh, let's see what they compare it to. They say Be Fabulous. I have the Be Fabulous bar, and honestly, Be Fabulous to me is more citrus. I don't really get that. I get more cedar wood in this one. So again, if you like this fall heavy scents with cedar wood, this one would it definitely be nice. And it has the raspberry jam and the bergamot kind of counteract it. But this one is called Spring Forward. So bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedar wood. Um, next one up is blue hyacinth. Really pretty color as I knock over everything. This is blue hyacinth. And obviously, if you know what a hyacinth is, it's floral. So it's full floral. Um, they say this one's like lilacs and violets, the current scents. Oh, yeah. Definitely like lilacs and violets. So if you really like heavy floral, like the lilacs and violets scents, um, and really are into the floral notes, I definitely would give this one a try. It's pretty, pretty heavy floral. So if you want just straight floral, this one would probably be for you. But this is blue hyacinth. It's florals from heaven. Pure blue hyacinth is all about flower power. That is the truth, folks, right here. Um, ooh, Jet Set Go. I wanted to smell this one really badly. So Jet Set Go is jet off to 
balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. Ooh, you definitely get the papaya and the orange and the vanilla on the top note. That would be really nice. It almost reminds me of palm, palm uh, the scent of the month, which is why my drawing a blank. Hold on. Palm trees and ocean breeze. That's what it kind of reminds me of. On the bottom note. Now let's see what they say about this one. Um, they say this one's like Amazon rain. Yeah, I see it. I see it from a like jungle papaya and vanilla. Um, I'm interested to see how this one performs, but this is Jet Set Go. So a really nice scent. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is Kahiko Hula. Ooh. That is the packaging on it. And let's see what they say about it. Uh, say aloha too with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. And they say this one's like red pear and pomegranate. Now, red pear and pomegranate was the scent of the month for November. So if you like red pear and pomegranate, let's see. And get it out. This one is not melted. Yeah, it, you definitely get the pear. Ugh, or not really pear. Papaya? Papaya. Hmm. This one's not really for me, as it falls all over the floor. It's really, really fruity. So if you like really fruity, kind of more on the fruity, citrusy side, I would say this one is for you. That's um, definitely one to try. Let's see what this one is. My Wish. Pretty packaging. Nice purple color, especially the wax. My Wish is a confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for, for more. And this is, they like said, similar to Coastal Sunset. Now, I love Coastal Sunset because I like anything with coconut in it. Now, I don't know why they would say that because Coastal Sunset's a lot of coconut. It's different. Hmm. I don't like the top note, which you're smelling the marshmallow. Or maybe the fig. The marshmallow's on the bottom and the fig and the violet on the top. Not too bad. I wouldn't say it smells like Coastal Sunset. I don't agree with that. Um, it's definitely more on the marshmallow note. So if you like anything with marshmallow in it, I definitely would try it out. Um, and this one's called My Wish, like I said. Guys, you hop on, say hi. Candy Crave. Now, Candy Crave, really cute packaging. Candy Crave is in the body line. So if you're familiar with the body wash um, that's been out for a while and you love their bright, um, their body products, um, definitely let's see what this one smells like. This is just the sweet stuff, raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow. Let's see what they say. Vanilla waves? Mm. I don't know about vanilla waves. It's definitely really sweet. Again, if you like the marshmallow, good lord, it's falling all the way. If you like marshmallow scents or anything that is really, really heavy on the sweetness, like cotton candy, um, uh, what's the other one that's cotton candy? I forget what it's called. Drawing the blank. Not bad. I'm eager to see what it smells like warming. But whatever that bottom note is, I don't know, it just smells, it smells definitely like a body product. So uh, I can see why it's lasted so long in the body line, but this is a uh, candy crave. Palo Santo, um, really nice. Again, I like the packaging that they changed it and got rid of the big bring back my bar because originally the whole thing was bring back my bar. So I kind of like them going back to the full on um, you know, ooh, ooh, that one, I, oh God, <laughs> I remember when, so Cassandra's not watching, um, but I remember when she did her review and she did the same thing, um, definitely, oh no, 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 um, this is 
Palo Santo wood, charred cedar bark. You definitely get like a charred, um, I think they compare this one to around the campfire. Now around the campfire is more sweet because you get marshmallow in it. This one is not sweet at all. So if you want straight on charred wood and teak um, are the ultimate dream boat blend. Um, this is spot on. Um, I, I, oh God, no. I, I wouldn't say it's around the campfire. Around the campfire is much better when it comes to the sweetness because it counteracts the burnt kind of smell. Um, but that's this one. Hey, but again, everyone's nose is different. Someone might smell that and say it's wonderful. Um, here's another one that I really, really wanted to smell, and it's called Love Story. Super cute packaging with the, uh, the hearts and the lips on it. They do a really good job with the detail. Um, Love Story is innocent pink jasmine, sensual amber, embraced by a luxury, luxurious dark chocolate. And let's see what they compare this one to. Mm. Oh, they compare this one to Podberry Jeans. I guess I must have messed up. What did I compare? What did I think Podberry Jeans smelled like before? I don't know. Ooh, definitely, definitely smell. Amber and the pink jasmine. I don't know about dark chocolate. Yeah, dark chocolate on the top note. This would definitely be a nice bedroom scent. Um, pretty much, pretty romantic scent. I'm eager to warm this one. But like I said, jasmine, amber, and dark chocolate. And they compare this one to Cloudberry Dreams. I don't agree. mulberry bush this is the packaging on mulberry bush sweet mulberry a lot of people have been crazy about this one too sweet mulberry accented with bittersweet orange peels now again i'm not an orange person so let's try it hmm. it smells like something from my childhood Ooh, <coughs> there's the orange peels <laughs> How that one warms it's different they compare this one to black raspberry vanilla which is a top seller maybe that's why a lot of people like mulberry bush i don't know it kind of smells like i think cassandra said it smelled like cough medicine you kind of get that i think maybe because of the the orange or the sweetness to it it's all right you can i can take it or leave it but if you really like orange scents there's orange in this for sure to give that one a try. I don't know about what a mulberry smells like. I guess a berry. Um, here's another one that everyone's been craving about. It was a first scent that um, Heidi came out with when Scentsy first got started. And this is Wild Black Cherry. A sweet and juicy black cherry. Like an old-fashioned black cherry soda. And they compare this to Apple Cherry Strudel. Oh, no, 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 no. It's really, really just cherry. So if you like, if you've ever tried, um, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, Luden's Cough Drops. If you've ever had those, they were in a white box with black lettering, Luden's Cough Drops. That's exactly what this smells like. Not really a fan. I mean, maybe if you mix it with vanilla bean buttercream and you get like a cherry vanilla, maybe it might change it a little bit. But um, again, not really a fan of the cherry scent. But again, you might like it. Fresh Cut Daisies. Fresh Cut Daisies, a meadow awash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups and ivy. That's a long one. Um, this one, they say, compared to Sun Soaked Petals, which is, I think, a new, it's one of the new releases for a spring catalog. Mm, mm, yes and no. You get more ivy and fresh cut grass in this one than you do with the Sun Soaked Petals, which is more floral. It's 
different, really nice. Um, again, you have to like floral. Uh, I would try this if you really like the floral family. Give it a whirl. This is fresh cut daisies. How are we doing on time? About 20 minutes, they're not so bad. This one, I this is the only one that I smelt um, when they had a sale back, oh God, I think it was February maybe or January, they had a sale of um, clearance. And I got these in a pods, but this is Lucky in Love. And I wanted it so bad um, to smell it in oh, the wax. And I voted for it every day when I could um, because they said it smelled like Love Spell. Um, or at least Lisa Roberry does, who I follow as a Scentsy director. Um, and this description is sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with peaches and berries. Now, definitely a strong scent in the diffuser pods. So I'm curious... Oh yeah, so nice. I'm curious to see how it warms in a wax versus the pods. Oh, smells so good. Really pretty color too. It's like a pinky lavender kind of color, but this is Lucky in Love. I don't know what you would describe it as. I would say fruity, I guess. We're on the verge of fruity floral. Or fruity. I don't know what you consider bergamot. I like this one though. <clears throat> All right, another one that everyone's going crazy about that I just couldn't wait. I voted for this one too, is uh, Honeymoon Hideaway. And this is Escape to a Secluded Retreat of Dew Kissed Lily, Tart Sweet Kiwi, shaded by Lush Coconut Palms. And they compare this one to, oh, I forgot to say what that one was compared to, Lucky in Love. Lucky and Love, they compare to Aloha Citrus, which I don't know what that smells like. Um, it's part of the catalog now. Uh, Honeyway Hideaway, Honeymoon Hideaway. They describe as part of Iridescent Pearl. Now, I love Iridescent Pearl, and let's see if it smells like that. Mm, maybe on top note? Ooh, it's different. You really get a little bit of coconut. Um, coconut, kiwi, maybe a coconut and a little hint of li lily. Oh, I don't know. I'm curious to see what it's like warming. I'm, I'm excited for this one too. So this is Honeymoon Hideaway. So if you like coconut, I think this one smells more coconutty than, um, the other one that they compared to, um, Coastal Sunset. All right, this one is Rockin' Ruby Raz, and they compare this one to Gogo Mango. Now, I've never really smelled Gogo. Well, I smelled Gogo Mango in the cleaning products. Oh, God, no. It definitely is raspberry, folks. They say a fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy grit glaze all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. It's definitely raspberry. Well... Strawberry, I mean, mm, not for me. It's really, really fruity. So again, if you like fruity, definitely would tell you to give this one a try. And this is Rockin' Ruby Raz. <clears throat> it looks like I didn't even put a dent. Uh, next up is Lemon Thyme Berry. Really pretty purple again. There's a lot of purple and red in this. Lemon thyme berry is sparkling lemonade, strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. It's different. I definitely would warm this if you are cooking fish or anything strong that the lemon can cut through it. Again, I'm not really a fruity person or a lemon person, but if you like lemon scents and strawberry scents, this one would really be nice. I would give this one a try. So this is Lemon Thyme Berry, and they compare this to Lemon Verbena. So if you like Lemon Verbena, I would say, yeah, this is definitely one to try. Um, I have a lot of customers that love Lemon Verbena in the cleaning products and in the scents, so, I mean, in the fragrance um, wax. I would definitely try this one. I'll have, definitely let them know since they might not have Facebook. But this is Lemon Thyme Berry. Hopefully I don't knock them all over. Another one that I really, really wanted to smell was French Kiss. Um, 
It's sweet, fig, tenderly caressed by coconut pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. Now, again, I'm not a fan of cedar, nor am I a fan of cedar wood, but I'm like, ooh, maybe with the fig and the coconut and the caramel, it'll counteract. Ooh, it's different. It actually almost kind of smells a little bit like cozy cardigan. So if you like cozy cardigan, let's see what they compare this to. Sugar cookie? I don't know about sugar cookie. I, I would say more cozy cardigan. If anybody watches this on playback, I'm curious to know um, who, who's received these, um, Cassandra or um, the rest of her team, uh, what it smells like. Not bad. I need her to warm this in the bedroom. French kiss. All right, slowly but surely, guys. <laughs> the next one is Ocean. Really pretty turquoisey color. It's cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. Um, they compare this one to Atlantic Air. So I've actually had Atlantic Air warming in my bathroom last week. Yeah, I agree. It really, if you like the By the Seas or Atlantic Air or anything from the Fresh family and you like that aquatic type smell of, of like ocean breezes, it's, it's definitely nice. Um, Atlantic Air is more, I feel, not as aquatic. Um, but if you like those ocean scents like By the Sea or Atlantic Air, I would definitely try Ocean. All right, five more, guys. Um, next up is Watermelon Patch. It's sweet, ripened, vine-ripened watermelon. So if you like just straight watermelon, it sounds like that's what it's going to be. Oh, it's cute. There's a piece of watermelon on it. I don't know if you can see. Yep, straight watermelon. <laughs> straight, straight watermelon. So if you like that scent, fruity watermelon that you just had in the summertime, I would definitely try Watermelon Patch. And again, guys, if, if you go through this and you watched on playback, if there's any ones that scream out to you that you want to try, just let me know. Hit me up either in Messenger or comments, um, and then we'll talk. Strawberry Swirl. Now, they compare this one to Sugar Strawberry. Now, I've never spilled Sugar Strawberry in a full-on bar, only the testers. This is Frozen Strawberry Swirl whipped with frosty milk and vanilla so i agree cassandra said it smelled like a one of those candies like the strawberry and the white candies i thought they were called um something swirls um now i'm forgetting um but it does it smells like one of those candies so if you like strawberry scents like sugared strawberry and anything with strawberry in it i would try definitely try this one it's more on the sweeter side though with the vanilla in there. Um, Summer Soleil. I'll show you what the packaging looks like. This one is pineapple and coconut milk topped with fluffy vanilla marshmallow. Ooh, I'm going to like this one. Um, they compare this to Pina Colada Cha Cha. We'll see. Mm, I think so. But more coastal sunset with the coconut. Ooh, I'm eager to warm this. Or Havana Cabana, Havana Cabana is what I'm warming now in the kitchen. Love that one. Totally love that one. Let me see what that description is. Because I think that's more of what it smells like to me. It's, and I'm only saying that because I'm currently warming it right now in the kitchen. And Havana Cabana is a citrus. And it's... Pineapple, orange, banana, and berries. So that's where I'm getting the pineapple from. Um, but that's what I'm warming in the kitchen right now. It's definitely nice to cut through like food scents. Um, if you like citrus. Oh, I definitely like this one. I cannot wait to warm this one. Summer Soleil. Two more. Uh, next one is watermelon mint. I'm surprised there's another watermelon. Watermelon mint is... A chilled slice of sweet watermelon with fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. And they say this one reminds you of Mad for Melon. Now, I didn't really care for Mad for Melon. That's a new, new of the top 10 new releases. 
Mm. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely a fruity melon citrusy scent. I'm not a fan, but again, if you like watermelon, definitely try that one out along with the watermelon patch. And then last but not least, this is what made the bag smell like a mixture of fruit and coffee. This is coffee tree. Now, if you want, I think from what I'm hearing, a straight up coffee scent, you love the smell of coffee, I would try this one. It's bold and sophisticated, wake up to rich aroma, aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. And they say this one is um, similar to mocha doodle, which um, mocha doodle, I have never smelled mocha doodle, not in a tester. Ooh. Oh, God. It kind of smells like a little bit of... Let's see, on the bottom, it smells like straight on, like, Folgers coffee. Ooh. And then on the top, it kind of smells like hugging a mug. Um, like, that kind of a hint. Um, I, I love the smell of coffee, honestly, but I, I like to then drink it. Um, I don't know if I'd personally warm this one, um, but this is coffee tree. So if you like straight up coffee scents, coffee bean, um, I would try coffee tree. Um, so that's it, guys. We pretty much, I thought it would take me an hour to go through them. I kind of braised through them really fast. Um, but if, like I said, if there's any ones in particular, there's a lot of fruity scents. There's a lot of floral scents. Uh, if there's anything in particular that you liked, uh, if you want to message me and get more information on that particular bar before they go on sale June 1st, uh, just let me know. Also, please take note, like I said, it's only when supplies last. So, for example, if everyone likes Lucky and Love and it sells out, there goes your, your chance. So, like I said, if there's anything in particular that you want to try, um, and I'm not going to try it myself. I'll be more than happy to share it with you. Um, so just let me know. Or I'll also um, do bundles, particular bundles in the uh, summer sale that I'm going to have, like I said, on June, Saturday, June 5th. So please, please vote. I put a poll on this morning of what time works best for you. Guys, I'm going to have items that have sold out in an hour that you never got a chance to get. Um, in that sale, I'll have the truck from the Father's Day collection, which is sold out in an hour. I have one of those, um, or will be getting one of those, uh, along with some of the bars. And so take advantage of it. I'm going to package it up really pretty, uh, and you can shop for dad or shop for that special man in your life um, and, and take advantage of that, along with some summer products from the summer collection as well cleaning products, laundry products, and things of that nature um, that you maybe just want to get as a gift or share with somebody if their birthday is coming up and they, they've never tried Sensi. So definitely, guys, let me know what time works best for you. Um, I really want you guys to take advantage of this sale. Uh, let me know, again, what scents you are excited for in the Bring Back My Bar collection. Um, my picks are definitely Lucky in Love, Jet Set Go, French Kiss, Honeymoon Hideaway, and Love Story. Um, Ocean and My Wish doesn't seem too bad to try either, along with um, Summer Soleil and Spring Forward. Uh, but yeah, definitely let me know, guys, which ones you're interested in. Uh, no one really watched tonight. Uh, I guess everyone is super busy on this Tuesday evening. But uh, when you do watch, uh, comment below on which ones you liked. And I'll talk to you all soon, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. Have a, have a great rest of your evening. Talk to you all soon.